Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we will be going over 15 times when pro players picked off meta champions and it worked. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. So much. So now we know the mid lane. We're assuming that's Incarnation's Vega. That's gonna be his this Vega. This pick and ban is Christmas. They are so far ahead in map pressure as well. Oh. West Door have to fight, and they just keep chaining. Cloud9 is on a rampage. Cool down. Sneaky's trying to be focused by West Door, but it won't be enough. That's the second kill of the fight for Sneaky. He's burning. He needs to run away. Another Malcolm binding. Gets caught by a dark binding. And High goes in. But it's Incarnation that secures the kill credit. Right, Currently, Incarnation level. has 497 ability power at 22 minutes. A barrel. Moving on to number 14, it's Gorilla's Misfortune pick at Worlds 2016. An insta-locked misfortune. Something really weird, I don't care about my last point. This is an insta-locked misfortune. Support MF. I'm just still shocked by the fact that Support Misfortune is being played in the semifinals of the World Championship. I don't care if someone tells you to pick a meta game champion. When you're Gorilla and you're fighting for your tournament life here against SK Telecom T1 and you say, hey, it's time to play Support Misfortune. Which means they can play safe and play aggressive. Ash arrow. Big arrows land on the wolf and it's just gonna be too much damage too fast. Teleports be damned, who cares? A two-on-two -two kill for the Rock's bottom. Yeah, but if, if SKT can fight back, it will mean so much for this series because this is the largest gold deficit at 20. Oh, bigger. oh! Next up, we have Ignar's Blitzcrank pick at Worlds 2017. As I called out earlier, Bar Alfari looking to get himself strong right onto Bang. That's going to be the barrier immediately. Cosmic Radiance as well to negate oh, the nice damage. Look. Beautiful pull onto Bang. Hansama goes deep, and it's going to be the explosive shot to take down Bang. Big plays in the bottom lane here for Misfits. Alfari tanks up first. Ignar is there as well as he speeds around the map to help the team. But now it's about getting Maxlor out. Can they help him? Cosmic Radiance and Cataclysm down onto him. And SKT get one back, but it's straight hit right back. Retribution kill. Keep on the top side of the map because of what SKT oh, we got Pina. Pina can be able to flag and drag out. Quick silence coming in from Ignar. And it's going to be Han Sama going forward, knowing they don't have Peanut for this fight. Baker's rotated back around. Baker's, oh, Baker's going to split the through right through the uprights and he's gonna say walk this way the team's gonna have to meet him on the other side the cleanse comes out oh, Ignar taken down before cosmic radiance the left the rest of the team is left wondering ignar is gonna be looking for hooks alive and healthy much more ready to oh, go he gets pulled in by not his own choice peanut goes down consistency and confidence from game one they kept going forward game two they keep going forward Moving on to number 12, it's Zion Spartan's Nasus pick during the LCS Summer 2014 Major. The teleport, he goes in. Dyrus is going to have to get out with the team. He leaves the slicing maelstrom on. Zion Spartan could easily single-handedly win the game by himself. 54-54 on the clock. The Nexus turret, he has minions. It's gonna be on to the next. Amazing, kind of amazing. He misses the shock wave, or the sonic wave, I should say. And he hits the Tempest. The cripple may slow the attack, but it's not on that anymore. Oh my god. He's gonna be able to hit it. A few last hits. He oh got it. Oh my god, he wins the oh game. Oh my god. All by himself. The inhibitors and the Nexus turrets. Zion Spartan wins the game for Dignitas. He had 172 health by the time he got that last hit on the Nexus. Amazing needed only to use his ultimate and he would have stopped the push. Next up, we have Kiki's Twisted Fate pick at IEM San Jose 2014. Run down by Sivir. First a Twisted blind Fate pick TF too. That's, yeah, that's, no, that's a good point. Definitely a blind pick TF for Power of Evil. First one we're going to see here in the tournament. You can do some pretty damage. And whoa, okay. Whoa. Hold on. Wait a minute. All right, so we got a lock at LeBlanc. Uh, Just jungle TF. Blanc's in. Already. Oh, I don't know what to think about this, Hold guys. On, guys. All right. Speech. <laughs> well, this is my render useless. <laughs> I have an inkling of what's going on. As soon as I saw it, my eyes kind of You're like, I got this. There's there's a guy, Kalsep, this uh, Korean jungler. The Master Yi player. Yeah, he went over yeah. there. He plays Master Yi all the time. I mean, what he gets when he doesn't get Master Yi is he goes with this TF jungle. Now he's, he's got going mid, he's got the Oh, oh no! Can they get it? Pierre's any of the chains are gonna come down. He's dead! First blood going to kick his... I'm really curious how many people are gonna try and jungle switch fate and not know how to do this. Like, this is actually... Really impressive, the spot he's standing so that it's fake leeching back to him and really not hitting him at all. He's, he's, he's been circled. 
Oh, Stone actually going down. Flash throw kick is, He's going to turn Got this him. one. Moving on to our top 10, it's Pond's Morgana pick at MSI 2015. With LeBlanc on the competitive stage, 12 and 0. And now he has it here. This could so, be explosive. Alistar has already been locked in for the support. Mauka has been locked in for the top lane. And now Morgana is being picked by EDG. I did told you before the tournament started that we would see Fake on LeBlanc, first of all, in the last game. You would see an Evelyn jungle and Morgana mid lane. I would call you insane. Morgana is a great mid game, but is not able to take down carries in the late game. Their roaming kill strategy is really strong. And what a move by Mako! He used a minion, then soul shackles Faker. There's going to be clear love coming up as well. Faker gets the mimic there, and he's going to be able to get out alive. That team composition was specifically drafted to counter LeBlanc in every way, shape, and form. Tanks, spell shields, left, right, and center, lots of magic resist, and it just shows how hard it is to beat this. At number nine, it's Keen's Urgot pick during the LCS Spring 2015 Major. <coughs> no, it's in the middle. <laughs> Don't say anything. Yo, well, of course it's in the middle. This is Keen, <laughs> but I'm just stunned they let him play it. Plus the Nunu attack speed slow. Let's see how it works out inside the jungle. Quite a good choke point there for St. Vicious. It's Nunu, but he gets popped up immediately. Lust Boy and Santorin and quite low. Gravity's <laughs> get the fight they want. Wild Turtle right into the middle of the fight. Once again, he gets popped. Dyrus is just oh, Keen. He's big though. Dyrus is big, but it's going to be too many members of Gravity now to focus the fight. We wondered what would happen, Kobe. <laughs> and they got the 4v5 they wanted, pushing out Lust Boy to end the fight. He's going to be able to use it out. But you don't want to range. Oh no, of course. Lose that. Free Dyrus damage is still again. free damage. They got an ignite oh, on him. Oh, he gets hit and crushed by Keen in the Muramana damage. Oh my. Right through everything. Coming in at number eight, it's Levi's Nocturne pick at Worlds 2017. Entire game so far. Now it's for the 1v1 with Caps. The advantage Spell Shield Fear comes out. Red Buff is ticking. Caps running for his life. But Levi should be able to burn this down. Dustbringer. The seventh spot goes to Reckless's Kennen pick during the LCS Spring 2017 Major. To be uh, sort earlier in Morin's hands in the top lane. He built a hurricane on it. And Blade the Rune King and yes. Rune um, So maybe Reckless will do the same build but from a different role. I mean, Blade the Rune King, Kennen can definitely still be a thing in the bottom lane against a big tank up on top. Let's see if Big Spec wants to try his hands on. This is this is a, <laughs> this is a we shocking know. amount of yeah. CC. Then he will die because. Rest of Fnatic is already here. Redemption has been picked up by Trick already. Equalize is available for Expect. He's gonna get thrown down onto Caps. Perks is in trouble. Redemption already dropped. Flash in from Reckless. They've shut down Perks. Support coming in from Trick. Not gonna get knocked up by the Stranglethorns and Fnatic delivered so as as well. So chaos everywhere. Jump back to the river. The fight's not done. Now Perks is in from behind. Expect burning down Reckless and so as. Perks gets stunned up by uh, Cannon. Down in the background. Ivan's dropped. Trick oh, is killed. It. And Reckless gets another Fnatic running circles around G2. Back of the Baron Pit. This is going to get messy. Scatter of the Week doesn't lock anybody out, but the stun does. Sidestep from Perks. And he's in trouble. There's the Equalizer coming down. Trick burning. Reckless is unstoppable. Picks up another kill. At number six, we have Faker's Master Yi pick during the LCK Summer 2015 Major. Faker can play anything. Wow, it's Master Yi. Faker. I can't, that's got to be Faker playing the Master Yi. What oh, is this. going on? This is so hard to pull off for SK Telecom. It, it is going to it. be amazing Faker. if they are able to make this work. Faker's like, you know what? I played Victor too many times. I played the same champion too many times. I need a new one again. Faker doesn't care. He doesn't care about your counter picks, your good or bad matchups. Faker just plays what he wants to play. Coco gets a kill on the Banky. But oh, they're going in ambition. There's the Alpha Strike. Oh, we're going full solo kill here. Flash over the wall from Faker. Wow, Marnes can actually use his ultimate here. Can they make a follow-up on this? They get the stun. Faker coming in, uses that ultimate, but here comes Ambition. They're going to turn onto him, though. Faker gets the damage. Oh, not quite enough because of the position reverser. No, he does get enough. Gets the double kill. Shy looks like he's going to be able to get 
Coming in at number five, it's Gosu Pepper's Alistair pick at IEM Hanover 2012. Support Alistair in there this time. Mm -hmm. Thorin's blade he started with and the blue buff down the bottom. So expect to see some spamming going out there now. Ping goes down, clairvoyance on towards I will dominate. You can already see an invade coming from Moscow 5 here. Gosu Pepper coming round one side, Diamond's coming round the other. They are going to push towards him. They do have smite, remember, because they've taken away the blue buff already. I will, uh, Diamonds is going to go in, he smites it straight away on towards I will dominate. First blood will be coming down here. Gosu Pepper looked like he's ready to flash engage here he has headbutt scarra away manages to get caught out with a poor price scarra's gonna go down here that is a quick quick kill moscow five keeping it real the same way they have done throughout the tournament some crazy crazy engages already genja was taken pretty low they have managed to dive on towards locust here the ulti coming out from carthus oh a good ulti kick there that will take down half the damage locust will go down and that almost certainly will force out a free dragon they push the waves out and they are they do know what's coming up here. So Baron's at half health and they're actually gonna immediately jump into I will dominate. He is not in a good place here. Boy boy gonna try to toss out some CC. Goes for at half health, pops his ultimate as well. Scara now puts the ult on. They pick up the one kill on the Lee Sin so far. Scara getting incredibly low and pops now. Aurelia crushing faces. Dominate very, very low as well. And they have not killed off Karthus. And Karthus is throwing out so much damage. Cutie Pike gonna try to get away, but Karthus ult still available here, and this is looking bad for Locust now. Locust Locus 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 are you serious? It's Trundle Vane. Shouldn't we yeah, just go Corky? But are you like... serious? Is it gonna win us the game? Of course. Like, look, uh, the, uh, uh, there's gonna I'm be a sign that... with a million armor. But you will die to my W instant. I'm saying, I, I think trust you, Cubs. Vane. If you I wanna go Vane, I just go Vane. just log in Vane. In the, uh, we could see the Corky yeah, again. Yeah, good Corky again. Whoa! Whoa! That's a Vane mid lane! Into a pushing onto Misfits. Engage from Alpha, you can see Ragnarok coming in as well. They're going on the, on the side. They're just trying to get on his But look at the damage already! Max Lord forced out of it. Reckless takes him down. It's no over. Hurts. It's done. It's dusted. All they need is one fight, and Fnatic just demolish Misfits. It's Fnatic in this. I'm blocking, I'm blocking, we're in. You kill him, I think. And I kill this. Yeah, oh, nice, guys. Oh, what the oh. <laughs> This play, man. <laughs> what are you saying, Dylan? What are you saying, huh? And then, 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 and we just said it before that fight. The next big team fight decides everything. If Misfits win it, they go for the Nexus. They win the game right there. But the moment we get the play from Caps, Fnatic will get everything they want. 1.5 seconds. <laughs> Our haircut carries. <laughs> they all How live short with Asia with new haircuts? Yeah. They all... <laughs> This was the most free win game in the bank ever. Against so Rastan, I was sitting there, I was zero one. I was zero one. I was like, Dylan really hates me now. Dylan, and now I can't. I was like, I was like, like, but now I can't say that every time I say a random pick is good. But then it was good. Then I was like, I was like, it's the only champion in the game that would have turned that fight around. It's the only champion in the game. And someone was like, someone was like, but I think it's Rastan. Shut up, don't play. And then you actually want to. When I'm at you, you want to. At the third spot, we have the Unicorns of Love picking Poppy, a move that was so bold and successful that it brought about the Champions remake. It was the first time it was ever played on the LCS stage when they pulled it off. Vizichachi locks in Poppy top. So it was really funny yesterday when Atlas was going, ah, oh, they locked in this for themselves, but that does leave Xinjiao and Poppy up. But I guess it does leave Poppy up for Unicorns of Love in this case. So here's the cool thing. Uh, Unicorn, bro. <laughs> Kevin charmed up though, this is not good for him, a lot of damage, and there comes Poppy! He ults Kevin, doesn't care, goes for Jayri, half health on the Nami, one for zero so far, nice oh knockback, Jayri in Visit the Chachi, air, what are you and doing? down he goes, Visichachi gets a double kill, down goes Cotton X, but Kerp is on a rampage, finds one, goes for Gilius, bit of damage there, you know, he's cut off, oh, created flashes in, oh. the Q hit, nice pick up there, a three for two so far in Unicorn's favor. Kerp could maybe get out with a Chachi. I don't know. Swiggity Swooty, is a Chachi's coming for it. Oh, oh! The wall. Kerp does not have flash. That's gonna be the kill. Gilius steals it from Vizachachi. Vizachachi. He's been shut down.
You can almost ignore him. He's going to go after somebody else. He's not going to try to chase the Poppy. The Poppy will be immune anyway. They're going to go! Oh! Aerie gets hit up and down he goes. One for zero. Gilius is stuck. Finally gets the light draft after a kick onto the moon. No. Where's the Vizcon The Chachi going? goes in, finds Kerb. Kerb did get the kill of Power of Evil. But by the way, Poppy is going to kill you. But they might trade back on the AD carry. Vardox, no, he stays alive. Creation for the Chachi. Again in the mix and down he goes! Wow, the Poppy damage is massive. Takes the lantern in. Kevin now the only guy alive. He is going to fall down. The ace for Unicorns of Love. The 807 Poppy from Vizachachi. Undefeated. Unicorns of Love pull it into game four and they keep their hopes of the LCS alive. Off the back of a champion that has not seen competitive play. Vizachachi's Poppy. I don't even know what to say about that. That was a turret diving monster. The number two spot goes to Caps Kane pick during the LCS Summer 2017 Major. Oh, so that's Kane Tobo mid lane. All right, Fnatic, they're the ones to take that away I mean, to start that, things that, off. That's going to be Caps. He's he's the kind of guy to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah why not? Oh, wow, this is going to be a fun one. Because he's take Gnar. Yeah, just take yep. the Gnar. If give you didn't it, it it's fine. Oh, Kane mid lane. Just when you think you're not going to get surprised, Fnatic are like, hold on, we got something for you. Obviously, it's allowed Fnatic to get not only a map control over the place in Han Sama. Oh, Han baby, Sama. you dead, and Kane is enabled. Why are you top lane? You have one job. You're Ash. Don't go to side lane. Kane will kill you. And stay safe. Yeah, this is not a fun game if you're in No, Han Sama, about to no. find out again. Oh, it's half his health bar. Just like that, the Umbral Trespass is on, but Maxlor is here. The babysitter can't keep the baby alive. God damn and it, Han getting another kill, but he might give his life for it as the rest of Misfits have reacted. No, he's going to flash. He's going to shadow step. And would you believe it? Caps is going to get out. Oh, my God. Okay, so, so much credit to Caps because he's playing it so... Before we reveal the final spot on our list, let's take a look at today's honorable mention. Can't do anything. Well, they try to get to the front already. Ignite goes down immediately. No flash forward, but the heal comes out. They turn to Wolf. His bang feels like he can get back into the fight. Just 100. Hansama has no heal. Hansama. One more shot as Wolf wants the glitter lands. Bang! Oh, no, right there. Barrier comes in. Oh, blood onto Bang. Fight in the jungle still. They can't kill Hansama. Wolf's going down. Two kills in the bot lane as Misfits pull the trigger. Everyone always says, oh, it's coming up. Wolf gets hit. They're right onto him. Here comes Max Lord 2 to get a piece of the party. He gets the chance to get in with the shield. For Misfits here, they want to get more. Hooney still no flash. Nice ultimate. Solar Flare into the Zenith Blade. Daybreak lockdown, and that's Han Sama coming up with another kill. Ignar putting these on a silver. The oppressive top lane pick. Smith Lowry should that's be able enough. to beat that. That's a that's a bold call. Uh, oh, oh no, no, no. wait a minute. If oh, can. yeah! Okay. Ooh. All right, we need two analysts here for sure. What you got for this year? Garen Midlane. <laughs> All right, screw everything about serious pick and bad face here. Yeah, you're hey, he's going looking for out. a counter pick. Don't you take this away from the Divisio. <laughs> they are here to win. Oh, yeah. And more of my nice, Smithy trying to make the hero play, but Banky is just too tanky. Flash takes him to safety, but the axe will it find him. It's Pecky there to back him out. We'll be escorted out, but it's a two for one. They didn't respect the. Teleport from Faker, it's worth noting. The Faker can sometimes be very much second to the roams. Yesterday, Wayless was making the big roam plays. Gonna done, walk back yeah. into lane. Sure. They caught up by a peck the Ignite goes down. Faker's in trouble. He's gonna heal up a decent amount. True damage is there. Oh! Garen spinning to win. The Ice Mark comes out. Mickey's backing up as well. Banky Silas locked up. There's decent damage. Red buffs on both sides. Yeah. He spins it. It's the double. Garen's back, boys. Are you kidding me? We're watching Peck on against the LCK All-Stars, and he's just picked up a double kill. Hey, man, spin to win. It's pretty simple, but it works pretty damn The number one spot belongs to Faker's Riven pick during the 2015 LCK Finals. Flash from Nogne. Faker comes in. He's got the ult. He's got the kill. Beautiful, beautiful Faker. game from SKT. Let's watch this one again. Let's see how Faker does Wait for the game. animation. Comes now. Flashes. Wow. Beautiful. Was Riven Mechanics thinks Faker does entire game. For any fans who weren't watching League of Legends two years ago or weren't familiar with how Faker revolutionized Riven play, it wasn't taking it to the mid lane. It was just understanding the animation canceling that most players didn't even know was possible with Riven. The amount of damage that he was able to get out through auto attacks specifically, queuing them up during animations, is what separated him from other Riven players and are now very much the norm. And it's why one of this, this pick is so seminal to Faker. He just revolutionized mid lane Riven and Riven in general as a champion. 
Nice move by KT. Meanwhile, Baker goes after Nogne. Can he finish well? Flash trying for it. Gets him with the ult. Gets out. Nogne. One dragon away for that huge buff. Mara coming from the side. Arrow. It hits Arrow. And here comes Wolfie Huge oh. slicing Maelstrom. Baker gets the first kill. And SK Telecom all over KT. Baker has to cleanse out of that hook. That is exactly what they wanted. 80 carry gone. Baker just knew the oh, bank's on a mission. Uh oh. Look at the mini map. Yeah, he is. Wolf trying to distract all yeah, these teleports. An arrow. Oh my bang, gosh, is this hero. Ash Arrow going to hit? This Ash Arrow dodge, but Bang comes in, takes one inhibitor turret. He's going for the next one. They're delaying it, and Bang is going to win Champion Summer for his team, SK Telecom. 3 0 in the spring season, 3 0 in the summer season. This is the year of SKT. These were some of the times when pros picked off meta champions, and it worked. Which pick was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.